Hello guys, I'm back with an update on the video of the K-Rock underpinning. Um, I told you guys I would come back and give you a video and show you the completed work. Now the entire trailer has been done. We finally got moved in. It took a while to get it done because I had so much other stuff to do inside and moving and you know all that entails um here's the place i was telling you i was gonna put me a door still have a little work to do on that a little bit of trimming to get it set back in further but that'll come in due time not a huge deal right now at least there is a door there just kind of quick like and in a hurry put it up to get the uh inspection passed and everything so but now right in that area behind that ball goes where i was working the day I put the studs in for the video and as you can see turned out quite well I need to put some sort of apron back over that and it looks pretty bad right there with the little darker paint that's left on that and the dirt and things that's on it I actually had to build an extension on this end to cover the tongue in the state they don't want you to <clears throat> have a tongue showing on your trailer so yeah I just boxed in around that and covered it up but as you can see this end is quite a bit off the ground so there's actually quite a bit of storage space up in there and so you got to put for inspection purposes those vents in right there which are pretty easy to install <clears throat> just measure it out and cut your hole big enough and slap it in there but yeah i got quite a bit of storage space down here it's a pretty good idea i thought I didn't have my storage building bought yet, so I figured I would just use all that space for storage, which does quite well. Got quite a bit of stuff in there. I'll just leave it in there till I get my storage building going. Get it set up and everything. Make a work a workshop in it and stuff, and hopefully make you guys a bunch more videos. But yeah, that's the end result of the K Rock underpin. And there's one of those vents I can show you a little better those are so many is required see i think i got two on the very ends and then one on each end of the side or each side ends it's like the one there and then the one there i've got one on both sides as you can see there and the one i showed you a minute ago but yeah that's the final result there I think it looks <clears throat> pretty good where I cut the whole strip off of it and it fits together just so much better. I think it looks way better that way. It's got a gap in it and it looks kind of generic if you put it, uh, you actually put it to, it has that gap or the little tongue that sticks out on it. It just looks like it's, you can tell the individuality of each slice or each each sheet and it just yeah it's better without that in it just kind of goes together better blends in better i don't know but yeah another video i got is my gutter dripping and running from very little rain it's doing that again today apparently the way the trailer sits here every bit of the water that gets on the roof comes to that point right there i don't know it's crazy but it does i'm still kind of in awe with that don't quite understand how so much water comes to that one point i mean is the trailer higher on both ends and everything on this side goes to that point or what it's just kind of weird it's got a lot more water in it than rain has came today with all my farm space over in that side i'm going to put a garden over there maybe get a few chickens but as i do garden the area i will come back and make some videos on gardening tips whatever you know i could do to hopefully help someone i'm all about helping helping my neighbors and don't hurt a thing to help a neighbor out when you can but yeah everybody remember share like subscribe all that stuff gets these videos further hopefully to help more people and you guys have a good one and come back to my channel for further little experiments and jobs done around the house have a good one.